What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. I got Cuz with me. He handling some other business, but he gonna chime in on this situation. What up, Cub? Uh, so I just I, frequently, not frequently, girl. Uh, uh, you know, expeditiously, we need to speak about uh, Swiss Beats, Alicia Keys, Boosie, <clears throat> and Usher. Now, first of all, shout out to Usher for his performance. Phenomenal, okay? I bought a whole new team. Let me tell you, I have to give y'all a story time. It's going to be quick. It's going to be brief. <clears throat> and if you don't want to watch this, <clears throat> damn, skip ahead. So, first of all, we wanted to have a bigger TV. Me. I wanted to have a bigger TV for the Super Bowl. So, I decided to get a 65-inch for Best Buy. Best Buy decides that they're going to sell me a broke TV because when the TV got here and the guy that put the TV up on the wall, he put it up on the wall, it was broke. So, when it was broke, we like, oh, I'm going to send it back. We take it back. They said we broke it. After they said we broke it, he didn't want to give us the money back. I had to call corporate. We almost had to fight this little girl that was behind the register because she was about to get hopped on. You understand know me? Ahead, bitch. Okay. So anyway, since, you know, we had to go ahead and deal with that or whatever, we ended up going, getting our, first of all, let me check and see if my money came back. Uh, Best Buy? Supposed to get my money back from Best Buy. Let me check. Did not get my money back from Best Buy yet, so I'm going to have to call them. However, it's probably seven to ten business days. We probably in <clears throat> day four. But anyway, so with that being said, supposed to get my money back. We went to Micro Center, got a TV. Here we are. Okay? Now, I wanted to give y'all that quick little story time because y'all know I need my eight minutes anyway. Okay? So with that being said, don't ever buy a TV from Best Buy. And I stand beside that because it might be broke. And they ain't going to give you your money back. <clears throat> insurance i know some of y'all gonna ask questions did you have insurance on it how you know he didn't break it i'm sitting there watching him honey it's all sitting there watching him he didn't break it put it up on the thing it's broke and if you got a 65 inch screen tv if somebody have to pick it up out of a box and it break that way i'm gonna need you to get a, a thicker screen okay <clears throat> anyway so we ended up getting a nice 55 inch screen lg tv and i wanted it to look real uh, cinematic and nice in my living room. So that's what we did. And Usher did his thing. First of all, he came out with the feathers. Wasn't a fan of the feathers. Um, didn't necessarily. Feathers is nice. He liked feathers. I didn't necessarily like the feathers and the cardigan look. I didn't like it till he took it off. Um, not chest took it off. Mm. When he shut up. When he <laughs> took off the cardigan part, and uh, the the shirt that was under it was cool. However, when he did decide to take it off, yes, his chest was looking real chestable. His I chest need was that. Chesting. I need the chest was chesting for sure ski. Okay. And then um my favorite outfit was the blue outfit with the muscles. And then he uh came out with the skates. A vibe. But anyway, him and Alicia Keys performance. Alicia and matter of fact, we're gonna we're gonna find this. Alicia Keys and Arsha performance. For the Super Bowl. Now, let me go on here. First of all, I don't need sound. Okay, so somebody else said something on the... Hold on, hold on, y'all. Viral for hugging Alicia Keys during halftime show. <sighs> now, when I first seen it... You know, we know how Usher performs. Usher does his thing. He, and my kind of brother, he gonna talk about you, look at you, especially the women. He just, you know, if you ask me, he idolizes the women while they're doing their thing. He makes it about the woman, I feel like. <clears throat> Which I think is a good thing. You have to sell sex appeal, sex sales, okay? And in this instance, I was cool with it until he grabbed Alicia like these. So I'm like, damn, he's enjoying it. Alicia's enjoying it. But one thing about, you know, art is sometimes it comes in the form of touch. Sometimes it comes in the form of uh, colors. You know what I'm saying? Brightness, darkness, things like that. So with that being said, um, it wasn't that damn deep. Now, not only that. Sorry. <laughs> no, but, you're, you're supposed to be in it anyway. Um. They have history, not as like a relationship, but they made my booth 12, 15, 17 years ago. Literally. So That's they already been cool enough for them to be able to even talk and kick it and chill and just rekindle this relationship with that 
uh, album anyways. So people got to understand that. Uh, yeah, she's married, but uh, like he ain't doing too much. Like, hey, come on, everybody know that this is Usher. Hey, what are we tripping about? <clears throat> and if I want anybody to take my bra, it's going to be Usher. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be okay with that. Listen, rather, at least you get treated right, you know? You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's rather some regular smeggler dude out there that she met in Vegas and don't even know his name, but we talking about Usher. Iconic. Yeah, I'm cool with that. This is Usher, okay? Um, So, Boosie decides to give his unpopular opinion on the situation. And let me find it uh, because... I'm like, Boosie, come on, gang. And he was the first one to say something about it. Now, don't get me wrong. It went viral and all that. But Boosie just, he always do too much and always getting people business that he really, and when I say people business, like, like these are your peers. You know what I'm saying? I do reaction videos or speak about what's going on on the blogs and all that. I'm not about to run into Alicia Keys tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, It'd be a conflict of interest. So he said, no, not a conflict of interest. Excuse me. Let me clear that up. Not a conflict of interest because clearly he's, he, he's act, he acts as if he's a blogger at times. Like he likes to get interviewed and things like that and talk about what's going on in people's life. So as far as I'm concerned, he's a blogger, but don't, I feel like he speak before he's supposed to speak. Like Swiss beats ain't even say nothing. Like what you, what you think you take it up for Swiss beats for? But anyway, he says, Usher, enough is enough, bro. You need to apologize to Swiss. She married my nigga. I know that wasn't planned. First of all, you don't know if it wasn't planned. They have to practice their moves. They have to practice their steps for the camera to go along with the um, with the music. And you know what I'm saying? Even when they say, like when they the camera pan in and they'll be like, my boo. And then Usher throw the camera and it go all the way across. Like that's practice. That's something that you have to practice. That for sure, thousand percent wasn't planned. This hug thing. Yes. If you look seconds before he got to her, he tried to move and see where he was going to do it. I agree with the moving and the seeing because he he seemed like he didn't know where he was going to chime in at. Exactly. But that don't mean that Him it wasn't being supposed to happen. Behind her though was planned. This, but the grab wasn't planned. Okay. They so, were supposed to do that, but less intimate. I think. Uh huh. I disagree. I think that um, I think that things have to be practiced. Now, I, he, I, behind her part, yes. I don't think that he would have threw in this monkey wrench, though, of just like, let me grab and caress her right quick and not act like this is happening. That's Cap. Because if you watch his shows, some people he do certain stuff to, some people he don't do certain stuff with. Like the whole, what that been named? Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer. That wasn't planned. It wasn't. But she had her ass out. She did. And it made it sexier. It did. And Darius is a nobody, so who are we talking about right now? <laughs> I don't even know so you're saying the respect factor wasn't there? I don't think he cared. Now, I, mean, like you got, I don't think he cared to the point where it was like, well, I can't do it this way. Like I don't think he cared about anybody, actually. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> like, so it's like he you, you got a boyfriend. You can't be mad because... Uh, your boyfriend. Question: Do you think before the show he told Swiss, "Hey man, you no, know I got to no. do what I got"? Oh no, I Not don't think all. they had a conversation at all about it. Because first of all, you know what I do at my shows. If you was okay with it, you, if you wasn't okay with it, you would have said something. So you wouldn't have let her get on there, or you would have said something. Hey, bro, don't be. Hey, listen, bro. Listen, I know what you do at your shows, but uh, with Alicia, chill out. You saying Swiss would have said it to him? I think so. If, if he, he had if he had something. a, I agree with that. I disagree with it maybe not being a part of the show, but I completely understand why you would even say that. Um, because with Kiki Palmer, he did that was very very, you know, I ain't even gonna say intimate. It just it always sells sex, but Usher has always sold sex. You know what? Chris Brown is another person. Chris Brown was on Sierra on their last video, but was he on Sierra like this? No, but also Sierra was pregnant in that video. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know the video. That's just how we roll. No, no. He had to dance with her and it wasn't Usher, but 
they have to dance. You know what I'm saying? Like they have to dance. They have to do their thing. And I just feel like Swiss did not care. I feel like if he if it was an issue, I feel like he would address it. Either way, I don't feel like Boosie should have addressed it. So I think Boosie addressed it because of the respect that he had for Swiss Beats. Like a lot of people have a respect for him. I think if like let's say Lauren London had been up there, R.I.P. to you know what I'm saying. Uh-huh. But people still would have spoke on the situation if it had been Usher in London because of the respect that they have for this person. I've, I don't even want to get into that. You know what I'm but saying? I, I feel you. Yeah. So um, nothing and nothing is wrong with respect level, but. Boosie, you're not a, he's not a, um, what you call it? Like, he's not one of us that that they don't know each other. So I just feel like he should have hit Swiss up him. if he wanted yeah. to. Because this is embarrassing. Because I'm going to tell you why this is embarrassing. Swiss came out. Let me find him. He said, y'all talking about the wrong damn thing. Um, Y'all don't see that amazing dress covering the entire stadium, which, yes, we did. Tonight's performance was nothing but amazing with two amazing giants. Congrats to Usher and my love, Alicia Keys. That song is a classic. We don't do negative vibes on on this side. We make history. Go see Giants at the Brooklyn Museum. It's open until July. Blessings. Mm. He told Boosie, shut the f*** up. (laughs) Nigga, shut up. He telling everybody to shut the f*** up. Yeah, but yeah. Boosie included. Boosie was the first one to come out and say something. Hey, right. bro, you need to apologize to Sweet Beats right now. For what? Right. That, that, if you ask me, he spoke before his turn. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't your turn to speak. So I just feel like he should have kept that one to himself. Yeah. But Boosie done said something else after that. Oh, God. I don't even think this got nothing to do with it. <laughs> If R. Hey, Kelly, yo. hold on, why why R. Kelly got to be in it? If R. Kelly wouldn't have got in trouble, his songs would be amazing at a Super Bowl halftime show. Yes. I can hear that voice now. I believe I can fly. Step in the name of love. I wish, I wish. The world's greatest. Fiesta, fiesta. When a woman loves, then same girl and bring Usher out. Oh, my God. I agree. <laughs> Let's keep it real. He ain't lying. Y'all, my fault. I thought he was about to speak on um, the situation. But, nah, he's not lying. First of all, R. Kelly was a huge, well, is a huge. um, Mm, Be careful. I mean, but he is. Yeah, I know, but God almighty. But you got to let me finish. (laughs) Yeah. Um, He played a huge part in the industry, Mm -hmm. good and bad. Okay? Um, Do I think he should belong on that stage? Of course. No. What? No. <laughs> I feel like if they were to put him on that stage, they he would be representing pedophilia. He would be representing sleep with children. I feel like he would be representing the wrong things. He made this not about music a long time ago. But does that take away from the artist he is? Hell no. Nah. He a dope-ass artist. But R. Kelly threw his life away, gang. Boosie got to let it go. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Boosie gonna have to let it go. R. Kelly gonna get out. Yeah, he will. He gonna get out. Free, free but, Kelly uh, till it's backwards. Huh? Free R. Kelly till it's backwards. Hey, everybody got their opinion, y'all. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I thought Boosie was saying something about I'm waiting on him to go live because I want him to address the fact that Swiss B said, "Nigga, shut up. Like, relax. You're being too sensitive." I wish he would address that. But he not. So here we are. Y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Do you think um, Usher was wrong for grabbing on Alicia Keys like that? Do you think that um, Alicia Keys was wrong for enjoying it? Because <laughs> she was like, ah! Like, anyway. Um, do you think Swiss Beats is wrong for not really addressing it? Me, I don't. I think uh, everybody cool. I, if it was my woman, I definitely would have uh, spoke about it before it happened. Is what I would have done. I wouldn't have felt no type of way. Had I spoke about it, but but so hold on. Since I I'm only saying that you, yes, you, okay, okay. I'm only saying that because um, this is gonna be on the national stage. Times are a little more sensitive these it's days because everybody freaking, gonna be talking about it. It's freaking Usher. Uh, yeah, I, I know. Would be That's happier, the worst part. I would be happier than the mug. 
because I see my girl. I understand that you fan. I understand that you fan it out on Usher, but I'm not fanning out on Usher. I, I would be a grown ass man, and another grown ass man is is grabbing on my woman. Nah, so I'm just saying, I don't. I'm not on the boosty side of it, but I would have been like, yo, all right, let me know what's going on. I hate surprises. What's up? All right, this is how we're going to do this. This is how we're going to do that. I'm sure a lot of men do that for their wives and things like that. What's going to go on in this scene? I need to know. All right, bet. Cool. Just y'all handle your business then. I hate surprises. But that, I'm I'm saying it because I just don't like surprises. Yeah. But you clearly would be fanned out over for sure. That's my girl's on it. My girl's being held by it, Usher. That's because it was a dope-ass performance. Like, yes, it was. I'm not looking at the hug. I'm like, yo, that's dope. And it was. He had to make it seem like that was his Boo. And that I dress, get it. that dress, yes, I don't dress. know how the hell that dress left the air, okay? And I don't know how that dress was just in the air while she was sitting on that piano. But I will say, that dress was fine. Dress was dressing. Huh? His dress was dressing. Right, but what you say on his house? Oh, shit. All right, y'all. Let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.